Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about chocolate distribution problem. So, our explanation we are going to provide here is based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please watch our website learningmonkey.in and take the placement training for service based companies course finish that course then you have to come for competitive coding so based on the assumption we are, our explanations are provided coming to today's example first we will understand the question they are going to provide the input value n value they are going to provide assume that if n is equal to 8 it, it means that n chocolate packets are there each packet contains x number of chocolates x value given in the list so we are going to take the input as a list list is taken as an input so first chocolate packet contains three chocolates four chocolates one chocolate nine chocolate 56 chocolates seven chocolates nine chocolates and 12 chocolates total how many chocolate packets eight packets each packet how many chocolates are there now coming to the next input they are going to provide you the input m is equal to 5 m is equal to 5 means m value shows m number of kids so the question here is each kid is given one chocolate packet we have to give one chocolate packet for each kid so in such a way in which way we have to give the chocolate packets to kids in such a way that the difference between packet with maximum chocolates and packet with minimum chocolates should be minimum this is how we have to issue the chocolate packets to the kids so once again understand the difference between packet with maximum chocolates and packet with minimum chocolates should be minimum this is how we have to distribute the chocolates understand the example with numbers let's take let's assume that first packet second packet third packet fourth packet and last packet we have provided these packets to the kids so 3 4 1 9 and 12 what is the maximum packet 12 what is the minimum packet 1 12 minus 1 what is the value 11 this is one combination this is one way we can distribute the ch chocolate packets to kids the second way is 3 4 9 7 9 this is second way one more way there are multiple ways are there what is the maximum value 9 what is the minimum value 3 9 minus 3 6 in the previous combinations we got a difference of 11 in this combination we got a difference of 6 which one is minimum 6 is minimum so out of all the possibilities we have to pick the possibility that is giving the difference value minimum that is what we have to identify so our output is this is the minimum combination 9 minus 3 which is equal to 6 our output is displayed as 6 so whenever you listen to this problem the first thing you get in your mind is uh, first select all the five number combinations from the given list yes that is the and one more thing here you have to understand you have to write a code that should contain a time complexity of big of n log n and the space complexity of big of one now the first way the first way you get in your mind is select all possible combinations of five elements see out of eight elements we have to pick all five number combinations 3 4 1 9 12 this is one combination 3 4 1 9 56 another combination 3 4 7 9 12 this is another combination like that we have to pick all the five number combinations from the given list of elements but if you want to pick that number of combinations from the given list of elements five number combinations we need a loop within the loop within the loop like that we need nested loops this basic uh, how to pick the combinations from the given list these examples covered in our placement course that's why we are not writing the code here see in order to pick this we need four loops or five loops uh, the, uh, the time complexity of the program will be n power 5 but this is not the case they are they are asking us to write the complexity based on a big of n log n we need to identify another way see the the point here you have to identify is is really needed all the combinations of five elements is it really needed for our example 
No, it is not needed. Which combinations we can eliminate? So that is the point you are going to understand. So what, first we'll understand the procedure, how we follow. At the end, you are going to get clarity why remaining combinations can be eliminated. Only few combinations we are going to check. You are going to understand at the end. First follow the procedure. First what, what, what we are going to do is uh, we will sort the elements. 1, 3, 4, 7, 9, 9, 12, 56. This is, these are the elements which we, uh, these are the packets, uh, uh, chocolates in our packets, uh, in, in the packets. Uh, so 1, 3, 4, 7, 9, 9, 12, 56. Uh, arrange them in ascending order. What is the time complexity to do this? N log n. Once we arrange this in ascending order, now we are going to pick the first 5 numbers. 1, 3, 4, 7, 9. What is the maximum value? 9. What is the minimum value? 1. 9 minus 1 which is 8. Next we are going to pick the second 5 numbers. 3, 4, 7, 9, 9. What is the maximum number? 9. What is the minimum number? 3. 9 minus 3 which is equal to 6. And next we are going to pick the next combination 4, 7, 9, 9, 12. What is the maximum number? 12. What is the minimum number? 4. 12 minus 4 which is equal to 8. Next we are going to pick the next combination 7, 9, 9, 12, 56. 56 minus 7, 49. These combinations are enough. Remaining combinations there is no need to check. Why? Understand that point. Why the remaining combinations are not needed? That is the point we have to understand. When we arrange these elements in the ascending order, first we have taken this combination 1, 3, 4, 7, 9. Suppose assume that 1, 3, 4, 7, 9, remove this 9 and add any number from the remaining elements. Add 12. Is the difference going to be increase or decrease? Definitely increase because the elements are arranged in the ascending order. So 12 minus 1 which is 11. 9 minus 1 which is 8 by adding these remaining elements to this combination will not is not useful so this understanding helps you a lot not only in this example in 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 remaining examples also this understanding will help you similarly similarly take the next one uh, 3 4 7 9 9 if you add this minimum element to this combination remove one element from this Common. Remove this 3 and add 1. What, what you are going to get? 9 minus 1. The, the difference is going to be increase. So you can eliminate that combinations. That's why, that's why these, these combinations are enough. This is what our logic is. It's very, very simple to write the logic. If you understand the, what, what are the discussion we made here. So coming to the coding part, we are not going to explain the code you you try to solve it on your own write the code on your own then check for the solution the coding is available in our website learningmonkey.in you can download the code or exe and execute but the best practice is write the code on your own then check for the solution so coming to the coding part this is the coding part Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.